powerless is a miserable experience. Everyone will experience this feeling at some point in their lives. If you want control in your life, you need to gain power. First, you have to understand what power is. For decades, the word power has had a negative connotation and has often been used in conjunction with corruption. Yet, the reality is quite different. Power is the control you have over circumstances in your life and the actions of the people around you. You can misuse power, but you can also use it to make a big positive impact. It's all about how you use it. Deep down, we all want power, and no one wants to be powerless. Everyone would rather be a fierce lion than a gazelle. The gazelle is a prey to many animals and has to be alert at all times, ready to run to stay alive. The lion is not a prey because of how powerful he is. In the human world, the people that don't have any power get played by someone more powerful. Now, how do you get more powerful? In this video, we will go over seven strategies to gain power. Number one, always say less than necessary. Saying less than necessary is not for kings or politicians only. In most areas of life, the less you say, the more profound and mysterious you appear. Powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. The more you say, the more likely it is that you will end up saying something foolish. The words you speak are like arrows leaving a ball. Once they're out, they can never return. So pick your words and keep them under your control. Instead of speaking more, you should listen more. The longer you listen, the more others move their lips. As they move their lips, you can understand their real intentions. Number two, avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. People who are constantly miserable spread misery like an infection and they'll drown you in it. Never underestimate the dangers of infection. The unfortunate often draw misfortune on themselves. They will also draw it on you. You will encounter the unlucky in every walk of life, for example, in the workplace. Avoid co-workers who gossip all the time, for they are certain to gossip about you as well. The unlucky are like a ticking time bomb, and you don't want to be around when they self-destruct. Associate with the happy and fortunate instead. Number three, use absence to increase respect and honor. Too much circulation makes the price go down. The more you are seen and heard from, the more common you appear. If you are already established in a group, temporary withdrawal from it will make you more talked about, even more admired. You must learn when to leave. Create value through scarcity. Number four, make your accomplishments seem effortless. Your actions must seem natural and executed with ease. All the hard work and the practice that go into them, and also all the clever tricks, must be concealed. When you act, act effortlessly, as if you could do much more. Avoid the temptation of revealing how hard you work. People admire those who perform seemingly impossible feats, especially when they make it look easy. Number 5. Master the Art of Timing Never seem to be in a hurry. Being in a hurry will make it seem that you lack self-control. Always seem patient, as if you know that everything will come to you eventually. Be a student of time. Learn to stand back when the time is not yet ripe, and to strike fiercely when it has reached fruition. Number six, interaction with boldness. If you are unsure of a course of action, do not attempt it. Your doubts and hesitations will affect your execution. Timidity is dangerous, better to enter with boldness. It is always better to act boldly. Any mistakes made are easily compensated by acting even more fearless. Few are born bold. It is a habit that needs to be cultivated. It must be practiced. Likewise, timidity is also a learned trait. If you find yourself acting timidly, you must root this out and replace it with acts of boldness instead. Everyone admires the bold, and no one cares for the timid. Number seven, crush your enemies totally. 
Your enemies wish you ill. There is nothing they want more than to eliminate you. If, in your struggles with them, you stop halfway out of mercy or hope, you only make them more determined, more embittered, and they will someday take revenge. Have no mercy. Crush them totally. Allow your enemies no options. The goal of power is to control your enemies completely, to make them obey your will. You cannot afford to go halfway. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time.